Alrighty folks, thanks for tuning in. Today is finally the day. I am going to install my new Bixby J2 motor using, this is called the power pole mount. So this is a Sportsman PDL 120, uh, but if your kayak has a spot amount for the power pole, this mount will work. So the plan is, is to put it here where I currently have a small track, which will have to go. But as you can see, it's designed for a shallow water anchor mount, which is also known as a power pole. So yeah, uh, let's get started. This shouldn't take that long. The whole reason I got a Bixby was because it's you know very simple to install, take off, it's lightweight. So I'm gonna have to take this off, and obviously I've drilled holes in it. Uh, but I'm not going to patch those holes right now because I do have a tournament that's coming up uh, where I won't be using this Bixby, but uh, I'll do another video. It's really simple uh, to repair the holes, but I do have a tip for you uh, when it comes to Old Town, so stay tuned for that video. Uh, if you haven't watched it, I just added these navigation lights, so I'll post the link above here, so check that out. All right, but without further ado, let's install this motor. This sticker's gotta go. The reason I've been waiting to do this video is because of one particular piece here, and that's this. It's a backing plate from Navar Kayak Fishing, and it's specifically designed for this power pole. So the holes on this, as you can see, should line up perfectly. I'm not sure if you need this backing plate, but I just decided to go ahead and do it anyways. I've seen some mount it directly to the kayak. I don't know if there's a backing plate underneath here. If there is, I guess you don't need this. Uh, but since I don't know, I'm just going to go ahead and put it on. Another good thing is you can, you know, mount directly onto here, such as a, you know, anchor wizard, you know, and even if I take the J2 mount off, I, I may be able to, you know, mount a track here. Okay, now that everything's off, comes with these four screws that are gonna go into each one of these holes here. Uh, and so what I'm gonna use is that block blocking plate. Okay, just put it right over it. And we'll start lining up the holes. Okay, that is in. All right, now we're gonna grab our J2 mount. And again, it has four holes that should line up with mount, just like that. All right. So Big Speed does a nice thing here of giving you four thumb screws, or you get uh, these nylock washers. Now, if you're gonna take this off, on and off, on and off, if you're doing it on a stand-up paddle board or an inflatable, probably makes sense to use these thumb screws. Uh, I'm gonna leave this fixed, you know, once I uh, fix up those holes from the track. But for right now, just for testing purposes, I'll use these thumb screws. Again, it's fairly straightforward. Last one. Okay, and then I'll tighten it down now. Okay, this is on. This is not going anywhere. This is really secure. I mean, you could, you could pick up the kayak with this aluminum. So now, before we actually put this on to the mount, we're gonna go ahead and add the motor here. I'm gonna show you one extra uh, option that I purchased for the motor, which I think you know you guys might be interested in. So let's take a look. This is the box that it comes in. There's a quick start guide. I'll read that at some point. But honestly, the best way to learn for me is watching other YouTubers. And even the CEO of this company, he posts a ton of videos on their channels. Here is the motor, okay? Very, very lightweight. Uh, you have your kill switch, remote, 
comes some, with some dielectric grease and then some screws here to put the motor on. This is your adapter for, to charge it. And then this is the famous battery. Comes with a handle, it's waterproof. This is, this plastic piece here is changeable. Uh, I wanted something that would uh, help me when I'm fishing in the weeds. And so you can buy this weed guard. And it's really simple to change. There's three screws on this thing. And I'll just show you, see if I can do it one-handed. Just get your Allen key. Okay, all the tools are provided too. I'm just gonna take these three screws out. Okay, just this last screw left. Oh, oh. okay, so it <laughs> comes off just like that. All right, and all you're left here with is the propeller, okay? Uh, you need to take that propeller off and just gonna get a uh, 5 uh, wrench, hold the propeller, and just take this little nut off, okay? Just, this should pop right off, yep. And kind of like our uh, Old Town PDL, there's a pin right there. Probably hard to see, but there is a tiny pin there. Now we're, we're getting this piece off because we're gonna replace it. This should just slide right off. There you go, and we'll keep that as a spare part when we need it later. But we're gonna get this bad boy and just slide it on. Okay, line it up with the screw holes, just like that. That's in. Gonna get our propeller, slide that on as well. Okay, put our nut back on. Okay, that's on. And then you're just gonna put this back on, okay? There's three holes, but there's really only one way this can fit, so don't worry about um, getting it back on properly because uh, the holes line up only one way. And there you go. All right, I'm just gonna put one screw in there. It's on, all three of those screws are tightened. And that's how it looks right there. I think that's gonna help a lot uh, compared to this. You know, I think weeds are gonna get through there a lot easier than it is with that. And it comes in a kit. And the reason I bought it is it doesn't just come with that propeller. This is called the original parts and accessories. And what you get, you get an extra prop, you get an extra battery for your remote, a nut, uh, and even some dielectric grease. So this will be just good to throw in your hole Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this piece onto here. All right, the hardware should be in this box. And again, I've never done this before, so uh, if you guys that have Bixby motors, if I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. Okay, so I have it kind of in the same direction as it's, it's gonna be you know, mounted back there. And I guess you can mount the, or put the cable to the right of it, to the left of it, and I want it to the left, just so it stays out of the rudder. Uh, and I'm gonna be, again, this piece, you gotta make sure that that eye is facing towards the bow, because again, that's where you're gonna connect, uh, tether some type of rope to be able to pull the motor up out of the water. So again, there's just screw holes, it's really hard to mess this up. You just line it up, and I'm probably gonna need two hands. Oh, nope, there we go. Just slide it all the way in. And then I'll screw it in with the hardware here. All right, I'm gonna do this off camera because you guys get the point here. Okay, the motor is on. There it is. Okay, and let's, actually there's a groove there. You're just gonna slide that onto just like that. Okay, stay. All right, and it comes with these two thumb screws that you just put it on right there. Okay, that's it, your motor is on. All right, 
now it should face this way. Before we do that, um, it's got this right there, and that's to lock uh, the motor in place. And so I don't plan on using the Bixby for steering at all. I'm gonna still use the rudder. And so I'm gonna just line this up, you know, parallel with the kayak and put that locking pin in there so that this does not move. Okay, so I think I have it lined up. Uh, so actually I'm gonna slide it through that clip right there. It takes some pressure initially to get it clipped on there. And, and that's intentional because they don't want you to, when you put it in reverse, this thing popping out. And so just give it a good push and it's in, okay? Now I think I have this pretty much where I want it lined up, this part lined up with the motor or with the kayak. So again, as I was talking about, this is your locking, steering lock. Um, and so that has to be lined up with it. And it comes with this shear pin that you just drop right in. And now your motor cannot turn, okay? Now, if you were using steering, you wouldn't use this. And then now your motor you know, can turn. And I think that's what these are for here. You can use steering that way to put that steering pin back in. Just line it up and this will drop right in, right there. And now it's fixed. These are also um, to adjust the height. You can raise this or lower it. This is too shallow. Uh, they said you can catch a lot of things that are floating on the top of the surface. And if you're in choppy water, you know, it may cause your mo motor to be out of the water, which you definitely don't want to do because this thing needs water to cool it down since it is a high torque uh, motor. So this is the rope that's gonna attach to here. And what that's for is, you know, when, the, when you pull it, pull that cord, it's gonna pop this motor out. Okay, and then it, it has some kind of cam locking thing that it comes with that you'll screw onto your thing. But anyways, now if you wanna release it, you'll let go that tether and it should just fall right in there like it did okay got the rope connected okay run through there i think i'm supposed to run it through there but i'm not going to right now anyways this is going to tie up here through a, a some kind of cam lock i haven't figured out where i'm going to mount it yet it does come with it let's see this thing so that piece will, I don't know, maybe go up here or actually probably back here. Anyway, so this rope, the intent is you're supposed to pull from up here when you want it out of the water. And then when you want to lower it, just release it from that cam lock and you just drop it. And it locks into place. Now, probably gonna have to do it a few times to get this thing, you know, kind of broken in, but that's what that rope's for. Okay, it comes with these clips, and this is for, you know, managing this cable. Uh, so you can clip it on there, just slot, make it a lot neater, and out of the way. Okay, so let's cut this off. Okay, got these tied down. Just need to clip off. Uh, tag end here. Okay, the last part is just connecting this that goes to the motor to the battery. Okay, I guess it's on the other side. Turn this off. And before you do that, you're going to put some dielectric grease on there to help with the connections. This is for your five volt connections. This is for your 12 volt, I believe. Uh, I'm not gonna be using either one of those because I'm using the Nakwa battery system. So it'll connect onto here. So you'll just unscrew this. Let me see if it'll stay. Stay right there. Oh. I'm gonna break it before even using it. Generous amount. 
Okay, this is on, and I had to do it off camera because it's gonna take some getting used to. It is not the easiest thing to connect, and you wanna make sure you have a proper connection. Um, yeah, you're just gonna have, to, it's just gonna take practice. I think I have it on correct, but we'll see. Make sure the motor turns on. So that's it. Um, all I need to do is connect the kill switch right here, comes with. So for right now, we'll just, it's magnetic, so it should just, all right. And if you have a full charge, you should have five lights or six lights. I have five, but I have yet to charge this thing. And this is the remote. You got 12 forward speeds, and I don't know how many reverse speeds, and this is your on button. And you're supposed to put it on your wrist. I'm just gonna probably tie it to my PFD. But yeah, you shouldn't test this too long out of the water. I'm gonna drop this like that, then you let go. Did that fall in the clip? Yes, it did, sweet. And this is supposed to come synced to your battery, uh, but there is a sequence if it's not. And a way to test that is if you just press this on button once, it should beep. It's synced. So I think that's forward. So we'll do a quick test in speed one. Make sure this thing is working. In three, two, one. It's working. All right, we have propulsion. Folks, that is it. Very simple to install. So we're ready to go. We got the registration stickers, the nav lights. Uh, so when I get back from this tournament, I'll do a test on the water. So stay tuned for that video. Uh, but if you have any questions about this Bixby, let me know. I'll do the best I can. Again, this is all new to me as well, but I have done some research. But as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And until next time, take care.